Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today we'll be looking at my fourth perfection on the map, Longbow, in, in Big Team Infinity Slayer. Off the spawn here, I'm going to stick the enemy Warthog with my plasma grenades, get a nice triple kill, and grab the, the, grab the sniper here. Now I'd like to talk about a few other topics while this perfection goes on here. Nice snipe through the trees there. Because this film is really self-explanatory. Um, I'd like to talk about how you get perfections and also camo sniping and how it's a very controversial topic um, on my channel and frankly on anyone's channel when they post pretty much anything about it. I know some of the only dislikes I've gotten for my montage is the fact that I had two back-to-back -back kiltacular camo snipes in a row in the montage. And that's specifically why some people dislike the montage. I was actually very surprised because I didn't those are my only two extremely good multi-kills while sniping camo. And I'm, I'm dead serious with that. I, I, I may have gotten one other overkill some other time, but that's pretty much it. Um, I wanted to discuss, um, first off, the luck of perfections. I get 19 kills in this game and with zero deaths and several pretty good snipes. I wanted to discuss, like right here. You see how I didn't get attacked, like all my, how all my teammates are protecting me there? At the beginning, how I perfectly stuck the Warthog and got a triple kill straight off, and the killing spree came so fast it wasn't even funny for the killing spree, and I'm able to get my ordnance really soon here. If I had called down my ordnance earlier, I actually would have gotten more ordnances during this game. What I want to discuss is just the luck of that. When you're on a perfection run, I didn't realize I was going to get a perfection this game. Right now, I'm playing like I normally would with camo. I'm hanging back with our sniper and getting those kills. I'm making sure to provide support fire for my team and just try to kill off enemy players and increase our score. What you realize is once you hit that killing frenzy without dying at the end of, at the beginning of the game, that's when you really want to start playing to your advantages and maybe hanging back a little bit more. Thankfully, I don't end up doing that until I actually get the running riot. Um, right here, I get the double kill for the killing frenzy. But the luck of that is simply extreme. Um, I've talked about in previous perfection videos how you'll get a certain number of kills really quickly off the bat, and then you realize, oh my gosh, I might have a kill. I might have a perfection here, you know. And that's typically how perfections are. Um, and normally, you will find that happens more. You'll be able to recognize that those lucky kills at the beginning more when you're using camo. Like right here, I know that the rockets just spawned. This guy completely missed him. I ended up missing tons of melees on this guy. He drops down to my right and goes underneath me. And I end up picking the rocket launcher. He doesn't even see me as I kill him. This is all just really lucky, to be honest. Um... Yes, there is skill involved. I know when my ordinances are going to be up. I do get some pretty decent ordinances straight off the bat. Things of that nature. I know that guy's there because I saw him on my radar. I just wanted to say that a lot of perfections are based on that luck at the beginning of the game where you get a bunch of kills. And also good teammates. If you have good teammates, they can support you. As you can see, look how all the team enemy players are concerned with the enemy team. That helps me not get totally destroyed over here. In fact, this overshield goes largely to waste as I push up here. The second thing I wanted to discuss was the camo sniping issue. Um, I, spent, I spent a long time in the lobby talking with one of my friends about camo sniping and just whether he thought it was unfair or shouldn't be in the game or whether it was stupid or not. And what he said was pretty profound. He said... It's a legitimate strategy that a lot of people dislike because they're on the receiving end of it. And I thought that that was a really well-stated um, opinion. And I felt like that was a very valid opinion that he had formed over many, many, many games of playing. Um, when you're on the receiving end of camo sniping, it sucks. It's really, really annoying. And um, frankly, the some of the worst games I've had it happen to me against was on Ragnarok. Um, where an enemy player would go incredibly positive on the enemy team, sitting back and just sniping and grabbing their sniper over and over the entire game. And as you can see, I had one sniper this game. So while I am camoing, I am simply 
staying behind my teammates and long range shooting. And that is a legitimate position to fill. But most of the things I'm doing in this game are very legitimate position changes and choices. They're not, and as you can see, I'll almost die here. Um, it's not that, it's hard to explain, but there is a difference between hanging back the entire game and just being completely noobish compared to actually pushing up and helping your teammates while providing a support from range. All right. And that's another topic I discussed with him was just providing support from range. Now here, you might wonder, why did I pick up the suppressor? Well, because you want to trade your weapons always when you have no ammo. And as you can see, this is more than half of the game. In fact, the game is close to being over, so I need to actually wrap up my thoughts here. My main area of concern with the camo sniping bit is that people will like this video, dislike videos, sorry, because simply they have camo sniping in them. And as you can see in this video, a large portion of my kills do not come from the sniper. They come from legitimately just hanging back, being aware of my surroundings, and team shooting with my teammates. Now, right here, I do want to express this topic. In the last half, last third, maybe even last fourth of the game, you will see me hanging back in most of my perfections. The best perfections, I think, are the perfections where you stay near the front lines, but just behind your teammates. That's where I think the best perfections are. Right here, I know I have the perfection, and that's why I'm hanging back. And thankfully, the film ends up being very quickly finished here. Um, most perfections happen that way. All right? And if you want to get the perfection, if you actually want to master your perfection combination like I have, this is what you're going to have to do. Now, I would not suggest getting 15 kills and immediately camping. If you do that, that's not, that's not, it makes for a very uninteresting video. And definitely don't post stuff like that to your file share. It's not interesting at all. And as you can see, the film's just about to wrap up here. So guys, if you liked my thoughts on this video, or if you liked um, me slowing down and giving you examples of um, gameplay and stuff, just like the video, subscribe for more future Halo 4 content, and I will see you on my next capture or whatever I end up recording. Thanks, guys.